And don't come back until you learn to stop waking me up. Morning, Garfield. Morning, Squeak. Whoever invented the alarm clock should be dragged into the street and beaten. Hi again, Garfield. Hi again, Squeak. Nah, that's too good for him. Instead, they should make him sleep with an alarm clock nearby. Hi one more time, Garfield. Hi one more time, Squeak. I'm getting an awful lot of squeak this morning. I'll figure out what's going on after breakfast. Uh, make that after lunch. Whoa! We seem to have a mouse convention in progress. Oh well, it's not my problem. <coughs> this is my problem. Squeak! You squeak? <clears throat> Look at what's in my dish. There's nothing in your dish. My point exactly. Oh, please, Garfield, old pal, old friend, please be understanding. You ate my breakfast. All these mice, my cousins and uncles and nephews, they had no place else to go. <laughs> they all lived in that big house down the block that just got torn down. You ate my breakfast. I couldn't just turn them away. I couldn't just send them out into the cold, cruel snow. It's 92 degrees outside, and you still ate my breakfast. Look, Garfield, if you let us stay, we'll behave. We can help out, do things for you, <laughs> be your servants. Servants? Servants would be nice. From now on, I'd like my grapes peeled. Peeled? <laughs> peeled. And uh, take out the seeds? The uh, seeds? Oh. Uh, this is the life. But I don't think I could take any more than, oh, say about 20, 30 years of it. <laughs> or maybe 20 or 30 seconds. Quick, everyone, hide. Nimsky. Garfield, <gasps> we're back. <sighs> Unfortunately. What's the matter? If John finds out the house was full of mice, he'll expect me to... Oh, got it! Oh, <gasps> there you are, Garfield. Looks like everything's been peaceful while we were away. Yeah, sure looks that way. Hey, have that thing sanitized for my protection. Huh? When I'm away, I always feel secure knowing you are watching the house, Garfield. I feel good when you're away, too. I know there won't be any intruders or accidents or mice, especially mice. No, you're not smelling a mouse. There isn't a mouse within 20 miles of here. Get your nose fixed. All that walking around Odie and I did, I just kept thinking how good it would be to get home and just to relax in my home here. Knowing it's free from mice. Because, as you know, there's nothing that bothers me more than mice in my house. <sighs> First, something to eat. It was rough under there. I was just going. Oh. Maybe later we'll order in from Lasagna Palace and then. Garfield? Is that a mouse? Mouse? What mouse? In your hand. That is a mouse. Eh? <sighs> what, this? Oh, <laughs> make like you're a toy. <laughs> oh, no. This is a happy, fun kitty toy thingy, Bob. Oh.
It's just a kitty toy thingy, Mabob. Squeak, squeak. Well, I guess it's cute. I need to get something <laughs> to eat. Uh-oh. <laughs> Garfield, did you eat all my crackers? Oh, we better get out of here. What are you going to do about this? <laughs> I have mice in my cupboard! <laughs> I have mice in my silverware drawer! I even have mice in my sink! Ah, uh, do you mind? I'm taking a bath here. Garfield! <laughs> oh, my. Mice everywhere. How did that happen? I had no idea. Well, I have to go water my ferns. No, you don't. Come with me. I saw this website a few weeks ago and bookmarked it. It's for a service called Rat Tater Pest. Rat Tater Pest? Pay attention. Uh, couldn't we go to one of those websites where you can order pizza delivered? Mouse problem in your house? Then why not call Rat Tater Pest? Our trained specialists will rush to your home where they will stop at nothing. <laughs> the mouse or rat hasn't lived who can defy the might of Rat Tater Pest. <laughs> they can run, they can hide like the rodents they are, but they can never get away! <laughs> Rat Tater Pest, a mouse's worst nightmare. Click here to order our service. I'm not going to click. Now. Because they're expensive and getting rid of mice is your job. I mean, you are the cat around here. Yeah. You are going to get rid of these mice. Every last one of them. Uh. <laughs> I'm going out for a while. Come on, Odie. If there's a single mouse here when I get back, I'm calling in Rat Tater Pest. And I'm deducting the cost of them from my cat food budget. You won't see lasagna in this house for years. For years? The barbarian. Why doesn't he just cut off my oxygen? <laughs> guys, you gotta leave here. Guys, guys, yoo-hoo! Calling all mice! Calling all mice! Squeak! Hey, now that once his name is gone, we have the house to ourselves! No, 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 you gotta leave. All of you. Right this minute, if not sooner. No way! This is our new home! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> <Ow>, boo! <laughs> you think we're gonna run from that? Other cats scare mice. Other cats eat mice. You gonna start eating mice, Garfield? <sighs> the very idea of it. Then it looks like we're here to stay. It's no use. It's not in my blood. What are we gonna do? I'll lose my lasagna for at least a year. John will call that horrible rat tater pest. Oh, that service thing on the internet, that terrible rat tater pest. I know. Come on, Squeak. I have to show you something. Hey, I was making a sandwich. Later, this is more important. Rattator Pest, a mouse's worst nightmare. Click here to order our service. This is awful. Garfield, you wouldn't. You're right, I wouldn't. But John would and will, unless. Unless what? Unless you go along with my plan. Anything, anything. Get all the mice together. We're going to have to rehearse before John returns. Garfield, we're back! Are the mice gone yet? Okay, I guess the mice aren't gone yet. That's it! I'm calling Rat Tater Pest! You handled that so well. 
Naturally. I feel like you deserve a reward, but I have no idea what it should be. Oh, Luigi's Lasagna Palace we deliver. Good idea, Garfield. I'll call and have them deliver hot lasagna. Hey, you do that again and you'll wind up in the bag with them. Garfield, lasagna's here. Garfield! Hurry, everyone in. Thanks for everything, Garfield. Don't mention it. I hope you're happy living at Luigi's. How could we not be? All the lasagna we can eat. See ya. <laughs> All the lasagna they can eat. Garfield! Lasagna! Hmm, funny. That usually gets him here in under three seconds. Oh, Luigi! Luigi, where are you? Oh, there you are, Luigi. You have to do something. You have to call an exterminator to get rid of this mice. Never mind the mice. I need an exterminator to get rid of him. <laughs> I think I'm going to like it here. There you are. I just wanted to tell you I'm going to the market. Oh, great. Uh, bring me back one of everything, large economy size. <laughs> See you in a bit. Okay. Oh, make sure you keep an eye out for... That's silly. I was going to tell you to watch for mice. <gasps> Who's not hiding? But we haven't had a mouse in this house for months. See you later. <laughs> Hey, you're the owner of this, uh, this house. I think so. My cat might disagree. Well, I'm Pulver of Pulver Extermination. We have reports of mice in this neighborhood. Oh, not in my home. <laughs> well, I doubt that. But if you do see any mice, give us a call. We're fast and we're ruthless. Well, I'll take your card, but I won't need it. Not with Garfield on the job. I could swear I'm hearing the kind of music mice like to dance to. Hey, Spree, another one of your relatives just arrived. Hey, family is family. Okay with you, Garf? Well, as long as they don't touch my food or interrupt my sleep, they're welcome. Great. Who is it? My Uncle Howard? My nephew, Morris? It's your cousin, Max. My cousin, Max? What, something wrong with cousin Max? Oh, my cousin Max is bad news, and he hates cats. Ah, oh, come on, you're funning me. Nobody hates cats. Squeak! What are you doing with that... that... cat? Huh? Oh, don't worry, cousin. I'll protect you from him. I mean martial arts. <laughs> Stay tuned, folks. We may finally have a character on this show more annoying than normal. I don't have to be protected from Garfield. He's my buddy. Whoa, your buddy? Are you out of your mouse mind? He's a cat. You know what cats do to mice. <laughs> yeah, they do a mean salsa dance with them. No! They eat them with salsa. You've got a lot to learn, Squeak. Well, what should I do now, eat or sleep? <sighs> sleep. 
I'm telling you, Max, Garfield's not like other cats. He doesn't eat mice. Oh, well then, what does he eat? Uh, everything else. I can see you need a serious lesson, cousin. Come on. There's gotta be a player somewhere around here. Hey, watch this, cousin. You're about to learn a valuable lesson. Cats, what are they good for? They lie around all day sleeping and climb the drink. So far, no argument. And generally doing nothing. And then there's the most horrifying thing they do. Cats eat mice. Argument. And they do it in the cruelest way possible. A cat catches a mouse. Does he just eat it and get it over with? No. He has to play with his food, draw out the agony. So he lets the mouse go, then he catches it again. And he lets the mouse go, then he catches it again. Oh, turn it off! Turn it off! It's for your own good, cuz. And then, when the mouse thinks he's gotten away, thinks his life has been spared, the cat strikes. No! No! Turn it off! Turn it off! Yeah. Garfield wouldn't do something like that. It wouldn't. He's a cat. Cats eat mice. Are you gonna let this happen? Are you gonna do nothing while this cat sharpens his claws and his teeth? <laughs> I've seen what he can do to a ten-pound standing rib roast. Imagine what he could do to one of us. I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm not gonna stand around and become rodent-flavored cat food. Uh-uh. Oh, uh-uh, me neither. Absolutely not. I'm out of here. Are you moving or am I? I think it's me. <laughs> hey guys, you want to explain this? No! Uh, apparently not. Okay. I don't know what this is all about, but I'm not letting a bunch of rodents throw me out of my own home. Hey, if you think you're getting me out of this house... Yeah! Uh, you're making a very accurate prediction. You're not getting us, Cat! Come near us again, and you'll be sorry. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah that's it. You tell them, you tell them. I gotta do something about this, but not now. <sighs> I'm going to take this bus into town and go to Vito's. I'm on my break, Cat. Can you wait for five minutes? Considering pizza's involved, no. But I guess I have to. I'm telling you, unless you're a lasagna or other fattening food, Garfield is harmless. He's a cat. And cats are not harmless. Relax, Squeak. With him gone, we have nothing to worry about. Mice! My house is full of mice! Nothing to worry about, huh? Everyone, hide! Garfield! Garfield! Oh, he's no use. How am I going to get rid of these... Garfield would have protected us. Cats don't protect us. Mice! Besides, what can that guy do to us with new cat around? Mr. Palmer, how soon can you be here? <laughs> yeah, that'll be fast enough. about, because there's no cat around, huh? Relax. I can handle this guy. Hey, you get out of here. Oh, I have to get rough with this. One of Odie's toys, maybe? I hope at least he's reading the comic pages. Garfield, you gotta help us. There's this guy, this exterminator. He's got all my friends. Your friends threw me out of my own house. 
I know, I know, they didn't mean it. Well, they did mean it, but they were scared and... Relax, relax. While I was waiting for the bus, I figured out how I was gonna get back inside. You got that for Halloween last year, didn't you? Yeah, but it didn't work so well. I didn't get any candy, I just got a lot of cheese. Okay, now you wait here. <laughs> that big meanie doesn't stand a chance. I think I've got them all now, and... Yahoo! Is the vacuum on your back as big as the one on your head? <laughs> That's a big one. <laughs> I'm gonna need another canister to hold him. Yahoo! And for him, <laughs> I'm gonna need my machine to be on max power. Ladies and gentlemen, a brief chase scene. Run! <laughs> Run like the rat you are! <laughs> There's no way to hide, Mouse. Hey, pal, you missed one. What's that? One I missed. I'll capture him, then I'll get you. Hmm, guess that cat changed his mind. It's that toy mouse again. And what's this cable attached to it? <laughs> stop! Stop! I can't unstrap this device! Help! Stop! <laughs> You saved us! Guess we were wrong about you! Yeah, we sure were. Hey, uh, Garfield, I'm not really good at saying I'm sorry. Oh, you just need to practice. You gotta say it more often. <laughs> hey, uh, oh, we were thinking, since you're already dressed for it, we'd like to make you an honorary mouse. <laughs> oh, well... Just so long as I don't have to eat any really stinky cheese. I don't know where that exterminator went, but he did a great job. <sighs> I'll bet there isn't a mouse within miles of here. <laughs> I'll be back in a while. <laughs> Anything I need to get at the market? <laughs> A list of everything. Okay. Do you think we'll ever see that exterminator guy again? Probably not. I made a mistake. That wasn't the bus to Vito's Pizza. It wasn't? Well, where was it going? Well, let's just put it this way. Down there, they dance like this. I was almost late for my lunch. 
Mayor Grafton, I have a few questions for you. Is it true that you have stolen millions from the city? Yeah, well, I was never a good man. And right. that you sold City Hall to a foreign country? Yeah, well, actually, it was more like a rent. And that you take bribes, you cheat, you lie every chance you get. Well, if you're gonna quibble over every little thing... Well, I... can you name one decent, helpful thing that you have done as mayor? <laughs> oh, there are so many, it's hard to pick just one. Uh... Here you go, my little pussy gatto. A dozen of pizzas, none yeah. with the anchovies. Ah, perfect. All right, Odie, mush <laughs> or mozzarella or something. <laughs> We'll be back later for dinner. Oh, yes. Oof, I may need to rent a truck. <laughs> what do you mean you can't pull a truck? Oh, how I love being so nice to a cute little pussycat. Hey, Mayor Grafton, Your Honor, you should pass a law against people not being nice to kitty cats. Huh? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, that's my new law. A law against... Uh... A people are not the being a nice uh, to pussy cats. <laughs> Kitty cats? Oh, Mayor, you're wonderful. And there could even be some money in this. <laughs> Here's your sandwich, Garfield. Remember our deal. I make you sandwiches, you take the trash out. <laughs> yeah, another mystery sandwich by Arbuckle. The only man in the world who puts mayonnaise on salad dressing. I called all you reporters here today to announce a new law I've signed. Yeah. It's a law that requires people to be extra nice to kitty cats. Kitty cats? Anyone who is nice to a cat will get a ticket and have to pay a fine. Ooh, I like this law. Yes, and to collect these fines, I've called upon our city's official mad scientist, Professor Bondress. Yes, I have developed a new invention to handle the giving out of tickets. The bionic ticket dispenser. They are robots programmed to detect when people are not nice to cats. They will identify such people and find them accordingly. <laughs> I'll make them four. I mean, uh, the city will collect fines from lawbreakers, and best of all, everyone will be nice to kitty cats. Kitty cats? Aww. That's nice, Garfield, but you still have to take the trash out. I don't do that kind of work anymore. Garfield, you come right back here and take the trash out or else. Ordering cat to do manual labor, $25 fine. Uh, hungry! Uh, very hungry. Oh, gee, Cat, are you hungry? Oh, Moon, agony. My whole life is flashing before me, and it's a rerun from last season. Bye-bye. Uh. Oh, you poor animal. I'm going to get you something to eat. Maybe some dry cat food or canned artificial meat. How about some pork fried dumplings or maybe some uh, beef chop suey? Chinese food? Nothing on earth could make me buy you Chinese food. <laughs> Refusing to feed starving cats, $50 fine. Oh. I will be back in 10 minutes. <laughs> Hello, Pagoda Palace. I'd like to have an order delivered. Crispy noodles. I want crispy noodles. <laughs> mm, I should have gotten the moo goo guy pan with extra goo. <gasps> Dessert. <laughs> huh? Taking ice 
cream from kittens, $50 fine. But I didn't. I mean, I wouldn't. <laughs> And I am finding you another 50 for that ugly dress. <gasps> My favorite all-you-can-eat restaurant. No, no, no. That cat is not coming in here again. I had to declare bankruptcy the last three times. Picking cat out of all-you-can-eat restaurant, $100 fine. No. Oh, this is great. Nobody dares not do as I wish. Get away from me, cat. I don't want to get a ticket. Stay away from me, cat! <laughs> Gee, everyone's afraid they'll get a ticket if they're around me. Can't say I blame them. Hey, Garfield, isn't it cool? Nobody's <sighs> mean to us. I mean, people aren't usually mean to me because I'm so adorable. Just what I don't need today, normal. What they're probably mean to you, because you're not. <laughs> Garfield, no, don't, no, no, not again. Let me guess. Abu Dhabi. Correct, Mundo. And for guessing correctly, you have won an all expense paid vacation to Abu Dhabi. Yeah! Whoa, help! Whoa. Send us the slowest, bumpiest way you've got. Aliens didn't go Abu Dhabi. $500 fine. $500? <laughs> Make it six because he's so cute. See, robots know. No. <laughs> no, nobody will ever come near me. Not even the pizza delivery boys. And I have to be nice to normal. I have to get that lot changed. City Hall, this is where the mayor has his office. <laughs> Sorry, no one allowed inside without a pass. Help! Meow! He's being mean to a cat! The security guard is being mean to a cat! Meow! Uh, 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 go on in. Thank you. Huh? Ah! Ooh. Ah. Ah. Oh. Oh. oh my. Oh. Wow. Oh. Best idea I ever had, Sam. The robots are collecting tons, and I wouldn't be surprised if most of it wound up in my pocket, if you know what I mean. I have a whole plan I drew up here about how I'm going to steal it all. <laughs> hey, I bet people would really mm. like to read this. Hey, you give me that back. Uh, I'll, I'll call you later, Sam. Oh. Steal my plan about stealing. Just when you're trying to read, someone's always interrupting. Boy, he's very, very crooked. You've caused too much trouble for me, Cat. I'm <laughs> gonna take care of you. Mistreating overweight cat, $100 fine. Grabbing pussy from the cat, $200 fine. Threatening pussy cat, $300 fine. Yelling at feline, $500 fine. 
I'm not paying any of these stupid fines. Besides, I'm stealing all the money anyway. This was all my scheme to swindle people and to... And to no! <laughs> Make up, please. I'm thinking this would not be a good time to plan your re-election campaign. plan found in his possession, Mayor Grafton has been arrested and charged with being very, very crooked. Told you he was. Nice work, Garfield. I wonder what's going to happen to those robots that give out tickets. I've arranged to have them reprogrammed to do something about your sandwiches. Too much mustard on sandwich, $50 fine. Corn beef slice too thin, $100 fine. Don't make $200 Cheating the city out of millions? Hmm, that's wrong. But making bad sandwiches, that's really a crime. The greatest threat to the existence of this planet came not from without, but from within. Not from outer space, but from deep within the Earth's core. There, for thousands of years, the Sloth people have dwelled. Dwelled in a kingdom ruled by their leader, King Glor. My people, the time has come for us to conquer the beings who live on the outside of our planet. <laughs> For they are fat and lazy creatures. And we shall make it even easier through the power of... Procrastination. Mm. Procrastination is the act of putting things off until a later time. It's the finest way man has invented to get absolutely nothing accomplished. Huh? <laughs> We see a demonstration of world class procrastination. <sighs> Garfield, please take out the trash. I'll do it tomorrow. Oh, and you were supposed to clean out the garage. I'll do it next week. And I need you to take a package over to Aunt Ivy's house. I'll do it the century after next. <sighs> Putting things off, and putting them off, and putting them off. Mm -hmm. That is procrastination at its finest. <laughs> hey! Even now, all across the surface world, our transmission antennas are rising. Sending out the procrastination rays to every corner of my planet. Rays that will increase to the maximum everyone's tendency to procrastinate. Bombarded the earth, instilling in every man, woman, and child a deep sense that everything can and should be done at another time. Huh? Hey, you're a fireman, Bob. Don't you have a fire to put out? Yeah, but I'll do it later. Oh, <laughs> oh, 
Soon, the state had come to a complete standstill, prompting the governor to call a press conference. With no one accomplishing anything, we have a major crisis. In order to get to the bottom of this, I'm appointing a special committee. One of these days, don't much matter. Nobody showed up to hear me anyways. I think I'll just go home and do nothing. Maybe do that later. With the surface world paralyzed, King Glorm began sending his sloth people to seize control of the exterior world. Conquering the surface people will be simple. They won't even lift a finger to fight back. Is there no one up there who will do anything now? No one. <laughs> well, there is one possibility. <laughs> The procrastination ray makes everyone into a total procrastinator. <laughs> However, if there is someone who already was like that, it will transform them into a total non-procrastinator. <laughs> but how could there be anyone who is that lazy? <laughs> I am not going to... And even as the ray transformed the puppy into a procrastinator, it changed the cat into the exact opposite. Yes, I will throw the stick, and I'll throw it now, now, now! Go get it, boy! Go fetch the stick! What do you mean? You'll fetch it later. I can't worry about that. I have things to do now. Garfield became the most ambitious creature on the face of the planet. He took out the trash. He cleaned up the garage. He even took John's package over to Aunt Ivy's house. Don't say anything. You're not really in this episode. I'm not due for dinner for three more hours, but I think I'll have it now. One of the advantages of not putting mm -hmm. things off. <laughs> but Garfield now seemed to be the only one who felt that way. I was going to make a pot roast, but I'll do it <sighs> later. No, no, now! Do it now! Ooh. Besides, I can't go to the market. My paycheck hasn't arrived. Paycheck? I'll get it for you. The mailman wasn't delivering the mail. I'll get around to it sooner or later. Probably later. How am I gonna get anything to eat? I know, Vito. Even Vito the pizza maker was? Well, you know where this is going. Ah, my little pussycato. I shall make you not one, not two, but ten delicious pizzas. Yes, yes, go, do that now. As soon as I return from my vacation in Italy. Oh. John won't do anything. Odie won't do anything. The mailman won't do anything. Vito won't do anything. What has caused this? The cat pondered the problem, unaware that its cause was but blocks away. What? How could he have imagined that King Glorm and the sloth people from the center of the Earth were at the park at that moment, flocking to the surface, massing to begin the total conquest of the world? Sloth people? Conquest of the world? Oh, tell me more. They had used the procrastination ray to... I'll tell you some other time. No, tell me now. Even the narrator won't do anything. I said they were at the park. Before nightfall, the people of Earth will be our slaves. What good are they? What do you mean? Earth people don't do anything. What good are slaves who don't do anything? Yeah! <laughs> I hadn't thought of that. 
Oh, I know! Once they are our slaves, I can push this button to reverse the procrastination rays and make them useful. Oh! So, let us enslave the surface dwellers, and then I shall push this button. Here, Smiley, I'll save you the trouble. An Earth creature actually doing something. Seize him. <laughs> He said to press this button. Hey, I'm going to prepare dinner. And while I'm cooking, I'll throw the stick so you can fetch it, Odie. I can do two things at once. I can do ten things at once. Mr. Arbuckle, I brought your mail. Your paycheck's in here. Yeah. Everywhere he ran, the brave cat was pursued by sloth people. Hey, it must be working. My narrator's back. He ran as fast as he could, but soon he was trapped. Uh-oh. Like he said... Give me the device, and then we will destroy you. Wonder what happens if I press this button that says, Procrastination Rays for our side. <laughs> This creature will be eliminated. Ah, but we could do that later. Wow, nice of them to label this thing like that for me. We shall conquer the surface world, but we'll do it in a few thousand years from now. And so the sloth people and their leader return to their city at the center of the earth, not to be seen again for a long, long time. Hi, Odie. Looks like I saved the world again. And I guess this episode is just about over. All we need is the closing joke. The closing joke. We always like to end these with me saying something funny. So the writer's gonna send over a line for me to do. I should be here any minute. Yep, any minute now. <laughs> Probably on its way. Boy, I hope he didn't put it off. I don't know about putting things off. care who it is. Even Nermal, as annoying as he is, couldn't budge me from this bed. Garfield, guess what? It's my twin cousins, Drusilla and Minerva. Hello, little kitty cat. <laughs> kitty cat. Hello, no, no. little kitty cat. Kitty cat. Kitty cat. Hello, little kitty cat. Uh, <laughs> kitty cat. Oh, no.
not Drusilla and Minerva. Anything but Drusilla and Minerva. Quick, Woody, we've got to get out of here. Our lives are at stake. Run! What do you mean it can't be that bad? It can be. Look! John warn us when Drusilla and Minerva are visiting this half of the country. <laughs> well, we can't go home. Let's eat. <laughs> I happen to know that one of our neighbors is barbecuing this afternoon. Well, the ribs will be ready soon, hon. Could you bring me more barbecue sauce? I have to do everything myself. Oh, heavenly. Wow! Oh. Hey, I was here first. Those are my ribs. Ah, oh, those ribs are mine. I've been planning to steal those ribs for days. I thought of stealing them first. Guys, guys, there's only one way to settle this. Let's divide them up. Good, Good idea. idea. I cannot wait to eat these delicious smelling ribs. Oh, they look great. Oh, the one I just had was perfect. The ribs were calling to me up on that hilltop. <gasps> I don't want that. Let's get some of the ones that have meat on them. Huh? My ribs. You stole my ribs. Ribs? I haven't seen any ribs. Have you seen any ribs, Odie? Uh -uh. Yeah! I'm not letting you get away with this. <laughs> Hello? Get me the animal control board. Okay, calm down, sir. Give me a description of the cat and dog. Uh-huh, sure. I know that cat. The fat orange one. He took your ribs? <laughs> Gee, he usually goes after lasagna. Okay, I'll find him and the dog. I'm not used to being falsely accused of taking food. Hey, that was easy. Usually I'm guilty. Yeah. What's a big, fat, hairy idea? You're under arrest, cat. Rib stealing in the first degree. Hey, let go, mutt. Stop! Oh. Hey, it's been lovely, but, uh, bye. That won't stop him. This calls for more extreme measures. I'll have to try the old fake tail connected to the beehive trick. Oh. First, we take a fake tail. Then we connect it to a beehive. <laughs> Perfect. Nice try, Cat, but I'm a little too observant for you. <laughs> We're gonna go to the one place he won't be able to chase us. Home. Hmm. Hmm? He 
he's not gonna give up. Not unless I can prove I didn't steal the ribs. But in order to prove it, I'd have to go out and investigate. Oh well, at least we're safe in here. There's a kitty cat and a dog. Hello, little kitty cat. Hello, kitty cat. Hello, kitty dog. Run, Odie. Run for our lives. Hello, little kitty cat. I'm tired too. I don't know how you play dress up either, but uh, I'll bet you a year's worth of lasagna will hate it. Mm -hmm. Let's play dress up! Let's play dress up! Let's play dress up! Let's play dress up! More bacon! I was right. Oh, that's a good we hate it. Power. That's very fashion forward. Let's play tea party! And, and then, then we'll do their nails! nails. Come on, Odie. Let's make a break for it. Excuse me, ladies. Have you seen a fat orange cat and a real stupid-looking dog around here? Hey, you're no male model yourself. Thanks. You know, this disguise thing isn't a bad idea. You don't have to be a girl for very long, only until we find out who stole those ribs. I just hope we don't run into anyone we know. Hello, ladies. Especially him. So, I haven't seen you two before. I'm Nermal, the cutest and coolest kitty cat on the planet. Oh, hello. My name is uh, Glenda, and this is my friend Odessa. <coughs> You're kind of cute, Nermo. I bet you're not as cute as that orange cat who lives down the street. What's his name? You don't mean Garfield. <laughs> oh, yes, Garfield. Cutest, handsomest cat in the world. Are we talking about the same Garfield? All he does is eat all day. I'm surprised he's not down at the old railroad yard with Harry, Hercules, and Rottweiler. They're lying around eating barbecued ribs. Ribs? <laughs> Stay away from those guys. They're Bad news. Uh, well, okay. See you later, Nemo. Come on, Odie. They're heading for the railroad yard. Whoa. Mm. Delicious. Simply delicious. Hey, I thought we were going to save some of these for later. It is later. Mm. I know how we can clear our names. We'll put our disguises to use. Yoo-hoo! Could you uh, help a couple of lost ladies? How can we be of assistance to two lovely ladies? Care for a barbecued rib? Oh, I'd like you to take those spoons to someone. Hey! Uh, come this way. So pretty, and his cute widow dress. <laughs> That's such a good shade of lipstick for him. <laughs> and this must be Odie. Oh, he looks so adorable. <laughs> mm. They were spying on us. <laughs> Come in here, interrupting our rib eating. Guys, you wouldn't hit a lady. Ah! We're trapped! Who where'd this come from? Ow! Looks like I caught the culprits who stole that man's barbecued ribs. Never thought I'd be happy to see the dog catcher show up. Right. <laughs> Guess I was wrong about that orange cat in the mutt doing it. These guys' owners will have to bail them out and pay for the ribs. <laughs> I thought you two ladies might need help, so I brought the dog catcher. Never thought I'd be glad to see Nermal show up either. So, am I cooler than Garfield or what? If you like, 
you can reward me with a kiss. Oh. Why, sure, Nermo. Close your eyes. <laughs> Come on, Odessa. This tacky railroad yard is no place for a lady. <laughs> See you later, Nermo. I didn't want to say anything, but that cat lady is almost as fat as Garfield. <laughs> I smell something terrific. I smell something baked and terrific. Oh. John is baking pies. No bread, no cake, no pies. Be oh, bread and cake and pies. <laughs> no, maybe muffins. <laughs> muffins, tarts, rolls, maybe cookies. I'm baking dough balls, Garfield. Maybe Danish, maybe prune Danish, maybe dough balls. We're driving to the cove to go fishing today. Dough balls make great bait to catch fish. <laughs> Yuck. What a cruel thing to do to a fish. Hi, Pupster. Going fishing with John? No, not me. You won't catch me out in that leaky boat of his getting seasick. I know, no, no, I don't care about the beautiful scenery. The only beautiful scenery I want to see is right here. If you're looking for food, Garfield, I packed everything to take on the fishing trip. <laughs> ah, fishing. The most glorious sport in all the world. Ah, fishing. The most glorious sport in all the world. Nah, I don't care about the fish, but I'll do anything for lunch. The water's so peaceful in this little cove. You know, guys, catching fish isn't the important part. It's the peace and the serenity and just being out in nature that matters. Fishermen always say that when they've been out three hours and haven't caught so much as a sardine. I don't care if I catch a fish. It doesn't matter to me one bit if I catch... <laughs> a fish! I've got a fish on my line! I did it! I did it! John did it! John did it! Alert the media. Hey, there he is! Oh, he's a beaut! He's an hors d'oeuvre. There we go. I knew my dough balls were the perfect bait. I'll put an even bigger one on and catch a bigger fish. Pasta and Alfredo sauce. I don't care if you are thirsty. Hey, we're surrounded by water. Try some. I gotta find food. Gotta find food. Uh -oh. Ooh, that was close. Chopper almost spotted me. Now, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Looking for dinner. Hey, there's something. 
Yeah, a dough ball. No fish in its right mind would fight onto one of those things. A one, Mama's favorite food. Oh! Mama will be so happy with this worm. Look what I brought ya! Junior, you can't keep a dog down here. A dog? Oh, that's funny. I thought he was a boy. <laughs> What's wrong with him, Mama? He's a dog, Junior. He needs air. Oh, well, uh, where can he get them? <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hi, Junior. Hey, I know that dog. He needs air. He sure does. Hey, Bernie! Bernie Blowfish! That dog, he saved my life a little while ago. Now we gotta save his. You're full of air. Sure thing, Red. I'll give him one of my big, beautiful bubbles. <laughs> Where's Zodi? Odie? <laughs> That's funny. We're out in the middle of the cove and there's no sign of him. I guess he fell overboard. <laughs> fell overboard? Odie! <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to do my one heroic deed for the year. Huh? He must be a goner. He couldn't breathe down here. Thanks again for throwing me back, dog. <laughs> There's an orange cat running out of there over there. <laughs> Friend of yours, dog? <laughs> yeah. Come on! <laughs> It's a nice place you got here. Your friend here saved my life. Would you like a little tour of the bottom of the cove? Oh, yeah, sure. We really like it down here. It's wet, but it's home. Well, it looks like rush hour. This is the main underwater thoroughfare. Ooh. And there's our traffic cop. <laughs> Does he ever give out traffic tickets? Uh, only when he catches someone swimming over the speed limit. This is one of those new fast food places that are popping up. They have a swim through window. Anything tasty to eat? I'm famished. Uh -uh. Would you like a worm to go? I'm not that famished. That reminds me. I promised to find Mama a worm. Uh, see you later. The seahorses are at the starting gate. The track looks fast, but a little wet. Well, it looks like some sort of uh, racetrack. It is, and it looks like a race is just about to start. And there they go. Sea Biscuit is up to an early lead, followed by Pony Boy, Little Squirt, and Amphibian up the rail. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Approaching the finish line, Pony Boy and Sea Biscuit. Pony Boy and Sea Biscuit. And it's Sea Biscuit, the winner. Yeah. <laughs> That's my brother. It's Chopper. We gotta do something. I think I know. Hey, hey! Run! Uh-oh. I'm fish food. Here, fella, have a dough ball. I 
caught another fish? Chomper's heading out of the cove and into the ocean. You saved us. Again. How can we show our appreciation? Well, the air's getting a little thin in here, so if you don't mind. Certainly. Barney? At your service. Going up? Whoa. Garfield? Odie? They must have gotten knocked overboard along with most of my gear. Oh, no. No! They were such wonderful friends. So cute. So adorable. <clears throat> Don't try to cheer me up, Garfield and Odie. I'm missing Garfield and Odie. Three, two, one. Garfield! Odie! You're safe! You're safe! <clears throat> Not if you keep hugging us like that. Let's celebrate. <laughs> we'll have lunch. Except that there's no lunch. We're stuck here until somebody comes by and rescues us. Stuck out here with nothing to eat? In the meantime, uh, dough ball? Uh, no thanks. I've seen what those things do to fish. <laughs> Don't worry. Someone will be along soon. I'm sorry all we have to eat are these dough balls. Ugh. Yeah, real sorry. Uh, could you pass some mustard, Odie? <laughs> Lunch will be ready in a few minutes, guys. I made beef stew. Whoops. Odie, you left one of your doggy toys out again. <laughs> This is not the first time this has happened, Odie. And if it isn't you leaving your doggy toys around, it's Garfield and his supper dishes. Whoa! <laughs> like that one. You know, if you'd fill them more often, I wouldn't leave them out where you would trip over them. Guys, you have got to learn to pick up after yourself. Oh, now who could that be? I sometimes feel like I spend half my life picking up after my pets. Uh, yes? Good day, sir. Uh, do you feel like you spend half your life picking up after your pets? I just said that. Well, I have just the answer to your problem. Behold, the all-new rechargeable digital drive robotic custodial marvel of the ages, the Tidy 7000. It's a robot. Not just a robot, sir. A robot that can keep your home sparkling, clean, neat, and immaculate. John's right. I know it doesn't happen often, but John's right. We're getting the house kind of messy. He shouldn't be the one to pick up all this stuff. Let me know when you get it done. I'm going to go make a sandwich. Huh? Let me give you a little demonstration. I'll set the robot to clean up after pets. be a sandwich of historic proportions. First, the bread. Now I need something good to put between the two slices of bread. Like maybe everything. Ah, there we go. Yeah, that'll do it for a start. Now, let's see. I wait. 
That's funny. I thought I had some bread out. <gasps> hmm. All right, you overgrown toaster oven. Give me back my sandwich or else. Uh, one second, then. You keep the sandwich. I'm going out for a pizza. <laughs> Here's my sandwich. Hmm. This is pretty good. Oh, hi, Odie. Bye. No, you can't have any of my sandwich. Huh? Do you have any idea what just happened to us? No, me neither. Let's find out so we can uh, make it never happen again. Just sign here, Mr. Arbuckle, and the tidy 7,000 will be yours for just 7,000 easy payments. First, I want to see how it worked. Huh? Very nice. Very nice. I can't recall my living room ever looking this good. So, is it a deal, Mr. Arbuckle? Just sign here and the robot will be cleaning your house every hour of every day. No! Please don't buy that robot. Please don't buy that robot. Please don't buy that robot. Did I say you shouldn't buy that robot? No! Well, Mr. Arbuckle, you bought yourself a robot. Here's the instruction manual. Why? It has a money-back guarantee. I'll check back with you later and see how it's working for you. You two won't be messing up the house any longer. Yeah, because we won't survive. I never read instruction manuals. I could convince you I was a jar of raspberry preserves today. <laughs> In here again. Well, maybe Odie will get me out. Still much for that, maybe. Odie, oh pal, we have to do something about this robot. The question is what to do. Do you have any ideas? Uh, no, you never have any ideas. Why am I even asking? Odie, that's the instruction manual for the robot. Maybe you did have an idea and didn't even know it. Okay, I think I have it. We just need someone to distract that bucket of bolts. Odie, old friend. Let's see, 
Reprogramming sequence. Okay, I changed the programming. Instead of cleaning up after pets, it's now going to clean up after pet owners. <laughs> hey, not me, robot. You're supposed to clean up after the cat and the dog, not me. Oh, you're not supposed to chase me. I own you. It's my house. I'm allowed to get it dirty. Let's see how John likes it. Not me. That's not me. What do you think, Odie? Shall we uh, turn it off? Mm -hmm. Help! Help! I'm clean! I'm clean! Honest, I'm clean, okay? Oh. Oh. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't realize what it would do. It's that salesman's fault. He should have warned me about that thing. Well, I have an idea about him. Mr. Arbuckle, I'm here to see how things are going with the Tidy 7000. <laughs> hey, where's this mud coming from? This is awful. How am I going to get clean? No, no, I designed you. you. You can't turn on me. Nice work, Garfield. You reprogrammed it to... Clean, sleazy salespeople. There are a lot of them, you know. I'll get rid of that robot and get my money back and... My money back? I have to get Mr. Sellers to give me my money back. Uh, Mr. Sellers! Robot! Come on, Odie. Let's go in and uh, dirty up the place. <laughs> 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 